The Computer Pioneer Award was established in 1981 to recognize those individuals whose vision has resulted in the evolution of the computer industry. A silver medal is presented to exceptional individuals who have contributed significantly to the development of the computing field. Michael Flynn began his engineering career at IBM as a designer of mainframe computers. In 1975, he became Professor of Electrical Engineering at Stanford, where he set up the Stanford Architecture and Arithmetic Group. Some of his best-known work includes the now-familiar taxonomy of computer organization, SIMD, SISD, MISD, and MIMD. For many years, this has served as the fundamental formal taxonomy of parallel computer systems. As one of the key people who created, defined, and led the field of computer architecture during its early existence, Dr. Flynn's influences on modern computing are important. While he was with IBM, he led the development of prototypes of the IBM 7090 and 7094 Model 2, and later the IBM 360 Model 91, the highest performing computer of its day. In 1966, he developed the definitive taxonomy of computer systems. Michael Flynn also founded and initially ran both of the major professional organizations in computer architecture, the IEEE Computer Society's Technical Committee on Computer Architecture and the ACM's Special Interest Group on Computer Architecture. To this day, these two groups continue to advance computer architecture research. He was a pioneer in computer arithmetic. His Stanford group was the first to realize sub-nanosecond floating point execution. More recently, he has been a leading researcher in system on a chip and the integration of field programmable gate arrays into computer systems for specialized functions. Dr. Flynn is currently the Chairman Emeritus and Senior Advisor at Maxillier Technologies with offices in London and Palo Alto. Maxillier is a leading provider of Dataflow computers. For more than 50 years, Michael Flynn has provided leadership and inspiration to the field of computer architecture. His more than 60 PhD graduates occupy key positions in leading computing companies. He's the author of three books and over 250 technical papers. We are honored to present the IEEE Computer Pioneer Award to Dr. Michael J. Flynn. Dr. Flynn was also the 1992 recipient of the IEEE ACM Eckert Mockley Award. He has been awarded honorary doctorates from Trinity College in Dublin and from the University of Belgrade. Dr. Flynn was unable to attend tonight's ceremony, but received his award in a special presentation last month at Stanford University. However, we are pleased to present his prepared video message from Dr. Flynn. I'm delighted to receive this award, and I sincerely thank the Computer Society for the recognition. I've been fortunate to witness a half a century of amazing progress in information technology. Progress that fueled an average of a 10 times improvement in compute capability every five years. I started my career with IBM as a mainframe computer designer, working with and learning from some of the great figures of the field. I eventually became the design manager for the largest of the System 360 models which sealed my fascination with high-performance computing. From early on, I've tried to understand the possibilities and the limitations of various computer structures. Over the years, we've used analysis, simulation, emulation, reconfiguration, and flexible arithmetic structures to define and understand the design space for computer architecture. In the 1960s, there was a great debate about the future of computing, parallel versus serial. A pioneer in parallel processing, Dan Slotnick, made some remarks which have stayed with me over these years. If you want to efficiently use parallel processors, you must be prepared to put effort, and sometimes a lot of effort, into it to find new data structures, 
create new algorithms and find new programming paradigms. More recently, over the past decade, I've been working with my colleague, Oscar Menzer, at Maxeller Technologies on data flow machines in an effort to provide a more efficient parallel execution of programs. This approach creates user-defined, two-dimensional data flow pipelines, programming in a 2D space rather than sequentially executing instructions. I believe an enlarged programming space is a key to providing efficient parallel speedup. Looking ahead, the technology can offer us probably another order of magnitude or two improvement in transistor density before finally we have an end to silicon scaling. After that, the crystal ball is murky. There is always the possibility of a major breakthrough, such as quantum computing, but programming these breakthroughs is another story. Remember Slotnick's law of effort. In the meantime, we can and are learning a lot from biological systems. Consider the humble fruit fly. With 100,000 masterfully packaged neurons, it has amazing vision and incredible mass mobility, and it lives on rotting fruit. Finally, I must acknowledge the support I have had from thousands of students and colleagues, but especially my wife, Patricia, who made the long journey worthwhile. For me, it could not have happened without her. The field still has a long way to go. I wish I could join you over the next decades. Again, many thanks for this award.